So let's sum things up. In this module, we have learned that there's a big difference between acquisition and learning. Learning by memorizing lists of vocabulary and grammar can be important, but acquisition means you can put all that knowledge to use through real communication. We learned about two modes of learning, the focused and diffuse modes, in order to help deepen your understanding of learning, which tends to be more focused, and acquisition, which tends to be more diffuse. Your job as a teacher is to give learners both modes of learning and to switch between these like a photographer might with a camera. We introduced the concept of practice by bringing in a guest celebrity, Michael Jordan, who never really would have taught a class like we dramatized. He would know that practice is a necessary skill for basketball. Similarly, language must involve more than just rule-based learning. Students must engage in practice. The concept of an 80-20 rule helps give you a general guideline, an ideal, for your language classroom. 80% practice, 20% instruction. Finally, we discussed how to get students to practice in either mode of learning. In the focused mode, we talked about spaced repetition, a technique that allows the brain to process information by spacing out learning over time. In the diffuse mode, we talked about creating events that allow students to engage in real, communicative activities and questions that invite students to engage in real, critical thinking. Speaking of critical thinking, it is now time for our next essential question. Remember, an essential question asks you to consider the truth of an assumption based on the information we have just discussed. This module's assumption is, what is taught is what is learned. Hmm, what is taught is what is learned. What could that mean? How is it true? How is it not true? Good luck thinking about this one. It's a bit harder than the last essential question, but aren't hard questions some of your favorite kinds of questions? See you in module three, where we'll learn about a man some people call a genius and others call a fool. We'll see what you think. <laughs>